Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Exhibit Columbus began in 2016 as a way to pay homage to the city's rich architectural history. In just five short years, Exhibit Columbus has received international recognition and more. Here's Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redman in Columbus. From Main Street to Megalopolis, what is the future of the middle city? Exhibit Columbus features 13 international architects and artists, each with their own unique installation on display. Like this one you see behind me, architecture for bats and birds. Everything is set in the context of the important architectural sites. Um, around downtown and around the community. Columbus has over 80 significant works of architecture, art and design and landscape, and it's everywhere. That is what we invite these internationally acclaimed designers to do. We invite them to Columbus to think about our history in these spaces and then to create new work in the context of that um, in public space. That might be cool. Like, like Brooklyn-based artist Lake Jayafis, whose work has been featured recently at the Museum of Modern Art in New York City, as well as exhibits in Washington, D.C. and Alexandria, Virginia. So what we have here is Archival Revival, and it's a series of four installations um, that sort of bring out um, some interesting facts about the Cleo Rogers Memorial Library. The four installations are paying tribute to African-American artists and journalists with Indiana connections. Felix Egboigbe was a Nigerian uh, artist who was an artist in resident at Indiana University. Uh, Marie Evans is a Hoosier from Indianapolis, um, and she's, you know, a, a well-known poet and author. Um, Wendell T. Brooks was also at Indiana University, but they showed a series of his intaglio prints. Exhibit Columbus is free to the public and is on display until November 28. Columbus is the, you know, a, a mecca for modernist architecture. This was a this was a fantastic project that I was enormously excited and happy and grateful to be invited. So it's not just successful or critically acclaimed in that we are working with people at the top of the field and inviting them to make things, but it's also that like intersection of that experience with the people here that really make it unique um, and something to come see. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business.